In Kabul, an explosion or gunfire is followed by this. Police, military and ambulances racing towards the attack. Nurses and drivers without protection ferry the dead and wounded to hospitals, despite the danger around them. It is natural to be worried. Everyone is scared of places where there are attacks. But it's our job and we have to get to the place and do our duty. There is always a nurse and a driver sent to a call. And despite responding to more than 50 attacks since the ambulance service was created in 2002, they haven't had any staff members killed or injured. This is what the Kabul Ambulance Service is known for. What it is not known for is transporting other patients to hospital, those not victims of attacks. There's a lack of awareness about ambulances and how to use them. It's a free service for everyone, and they don't understand there's a nurse and driver and we can take them free. Beyond the lack of awareness, there's also a capacity issue. The Kabul Ambulance Service has just 29 ambulances for 5 million people. It says its response time is usually less than 20 minutes, but it can be up to an hour and a half. Ambulances are facing further delays after the Taliban detonated one packed with explosives in central Kabul last January. More than 100 people were killed. Ambulances are now searched at checkpoints. It means most Afghans choose to use a taxi rather than call for an ambulance. Everyone in this intensive care unit was first brought to hospital by a taxi. Bibi Halima was admitted unconscious with renal failure. I was feeling pain in my body and I was in trouble when I was traveling here by taxi. I was not able to sit up properly. I was in a lot of pain. Most of the patients who were brought here by taxi are in a serious condition. Coming in a taxi, the patient loses 50% of their chance to recover as they come from a long distance without oxygen. And it's not a problem limited to the capital. Kabul Ambulance Service has 50 vehicles in three provinces, yet Afghanistan has 34 provinces and more than 30 million people. The Ministry of Health admits it doesn't know exactly how many ambulances exist. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera, Kabul.